Chapter 665, An Extremely Deep Impression After killing Yun Cheng in a single blow, Qin Lai turned his head and found the remaining seven fiends Valley Martial Practitioners had surrounded Pei Xiang. They were going to tear away Pei Xiang's clothing and search her body. Pei Xiang continued to beg in hopes that they would stop. However, urgent by greed, these people would not listen to anything Pei Xiang said. Right now, the Dark Fiend Valley's decline caused Pei Xiang's status to be extremely low. No one thought anything of her. I I'll take them off. Don't come over. Pei Xiang suddenly screamed. Seeing that she could not persuade them, she prepared to endure the humiliation to protect herself and not cause even more unpredicted consequences. She prepared to take off her robes, and empty all her pockets to show that she had not taken anything from Qin Lai's body. Good. The martial practitioner from Goldfiend Valley grinned. Let her take them off. Someone laughed. Under the gazes of the group, Pei Xiang gritted her teeth. Her eyes were filled with grief as she reached to untie her belt. Whoosh. A bolt of lightning suddenly charged through. The lightning condensed and turned into Qin Lai's still burnt body. Pei Xiang's gaze turned stunned and she couldn't help but scream. In the next moment, like an ancient monster within a herd of sheep, Qin Lai started to kill the Seven Fiends Valley Martial Practitioners. Pei Xiang heard the wails and screams of the Seven Fiends Valley Martial Practitioners. Blood covered everything in her view. Crack crack. The horrifying sound of bones breaking came from those people. In a short ten seconds, those people fell to the ground as though their skeletons had shattered, and were covered with blood. No one was left alive. I'm going to the river to Washington. After casually throwing these words to the wind, Qin Lai disappeared from Pei Xiang's side like lightning. Pei Xiang looked dazedly at Qin Lai's departing figure. Then, she looked at the gory corpses, and Yin Cheng's horrific and bloody state. Her eyes became dumbstruck. How how did it become like this? Pei Xiang murmured soullessly to herself. Terror and anxiousness appeared on her face. Yin Cheng and these people had status in Seven Fiends Valley. Gold Fiend Valley and Fire Fiend Valley put great importance on them. One of them even came from Mystical Fiend Valley and had extraordinary status. Now, all of them had died here. Seven Fiends Valley would not sit idly and watch. They would pursue this with all of their power. She, Pei Xiang, would be furiously pursued by Seven Fiends Valley due to Qin Lai's actions. Terrible. This is terrible. Dark Fiend Valley is weak. This time, no one will be able to save me. Pei Xiang became more terrified the more she thought. Splash. On the other side, Qin Lai leapt into the stream and then immediately relaxed. Feeling with his mind, he quickly found that the pores in his body were furiously absorbing the water. This body that seriously lacked water quickly became filled. The skin that had been burned black by the flames had been as hard and dry as the bark of ancient trees. But soaking in the water, the cracked and burnt skin quickly fell off his body. Under the blackened skin, the new skin was clear and transparent. It had a sheen of jade and gave people a feeling of flawlessness. At this time, the burnt skin fell off his body like a snake shedding its skin. A body that was more refined, more balanced and stronger has been exposed. The blaze characters that had been imprinted onto his limbs and body had disappeared. He could not feel them. In his spirit, see, the three natal palaces that had been created by the merging of the natal palaces of the same element were like lightning, ice, and earth balls that released surging power. The demon sealing tombstone returned to his spatial ring. Everything turned back to its normal appearance. He tried to channel spirit energy, and guide the lightning, ice, and earth powers to flow through his veins. There were no abnormalities. His spirit power flowed much faster than before. Channeling blood spirit power did not cause his blood to burn like before. Not only did his blood not boil, it also did not produce the power of the bloodline, and did not show anything unusual. The appearance of the power of the bloodline seemed to have been an illusion. He seemed to not have changed at all. This is not right. Frowning, he floated naked in a stream facing the sky as he thought. Those divine characters that mean blaze clearly came out of my blood, and were imprinted onto my bones, tendons, and organs. How come I cannot feel them at all? But that must have been the power of the bloodline. The power of the bloodline once awakened should not disappear. It must be that I haven't found a way to activate it. He was not in a hurry to leave the stream. He floated on the water surface naked as he continued to ponder what he did not understand. The fulfillment realm. A breakthrough into a new realm. Is there anything different? As he thought of this, he temporarily put aside his pursuit of the bloodline power. He started to examine the changes in his spirit sea and consciousness. The changes in his spirit sea were very simple. The nine natal palaces turned into three after merging. After probing with his mind consciousness, he noticed that the three great natal palaces that had formed were much bigger compared to the original ones. The power of thunder and lightning in the thunder and lightning natal palace was more than five times that of the three previous natal palaces added together. The ice and earth natal palaces were the same. This meant that after he finished refilling spirit energy in the natal palaces, the power in his spirit sea would have increased by five times. And that was just after entering the fulfillment realm. In his sea of consciousness, the soul lake was clearly much vaster. The true soul that was inside the soul lake wasn't just much bigger than before, it was also much clearer. When he looked at it, he found that the true soul was packed with lightning that crisscrossed inside the true soul-like channels. Exclaiming in shock in his mind, he examined the true soul even more closely. Like through a magnifying glass, the true soul enlarged. When the true soul had been magnified by a few factors of ten, he found the divine characters that meant blaze were deep within the true soul. Those divine characters roamed inside the true soul like tongues of fire and did not seem to rest. As expected, I had not looked closely enough. As he arrived to the conclusion, he examined his body once again. He gathered his mind and peered deep into the bones. He magnified one of his bones. After reaching a certain magnification, 
He found to his shock that the divine characters which represented Blaze were on the bone's material, the bone membrane, the bone marrow. They slowly moved and released faint golden light. His mind shifting, he focused his attention on his heart. Yet again, he found to his shock that the chambers of his heart, the windpipe, and the arteries also had moving divine characters imprinted on them. So the divine characters have been imprinted on every part of my body. Kinlai realized. In the beginning, the reason he did not see them was because the divine text was so small that he could not immediately see it. Only when he was extremely focused and gathered his consciousness to go to the deepest part could he see the truth. He knew that the bloodline power was slowly changing his body in a way that he could not understand. But he still did not find a way to use the bloodline power and control those divine characters to use their power. He wanted to continue searching. However, he knew that Pei Xiang probably would not be able to wait for long. After a moment of thought, he stopped. Moving his body, he walked out of the stream. He didn't just recover his appearance, he was even more alert and his eyes seemed to shoot lightning. As he put on dark blue martial practitioner robes, he cracked his neck as he walked towards Pei Xiang. Pei Xiang was anxious as she stood next to the gory corpses of the members of her sect. She was still sighing as she pondered how to avoid the calamity. I'm going with you to Seven Fiends Valley. Qin Lai walked over and said directly to her. I do not dare to return to the valley. If I return there now, my fate would be even worse than senior sister Lu's. Pei Xiang turned her head. Her face was conflicted. Then, she shouted in shock as she pointed at Qin Lai. Why you? Fifteen minutes ago, Qin Lai had been completely blackened like a burnt corpse. Qin Lai who came back wasn't just of a strong stature. His features were clearly defined, handsome, and he gave off a strong masculine charisma. There was no similarities to his previous appearance. This stunned Pei Xiang. Do not be nervous, this is my true appearance. Qin Lai smiled and said politely, let me reintroduce myself. I am Qin Lai, ah. Pei Xiang screamed. Yes, just like you guessed. Qin Lai said seriously with a smile, I am the person who killed both your valley masters, 